Let's play some matches with Jonah wearing the new superstar outfit and using the high serve big forehand style in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on Gameplay 365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So if you have subscribed to the Pro Pass, then you can finish the Season 10 named City of Light by getting the 600 points required to achieve the Tier 21 the last year so as to obtain the best reward of the Season 10, the Superstar Outfit for Jonah. I think that the publisher has chosen to make this very cool outfit only for Jonah because he looks like a top model playing tennis and is the most suitable to wear it like a real star. Well, I would love to see a superstar outfit for Victoria and the other characters too, but uh, taller characters like Jonah, Leo, Victoria, Luke and Diana will probably look better in this fashion outfit. Of course, this outfit is just fun to watch. Look at that. It's quite tricky to imagine a tennis player wearing it to play seriously a match. There we go. Let's start the versus uh, a quite peculiar build that I don't see very often in Tour 7. A Kaito having a big forehand and a very weak backhand. A lot of stamina. Well, a lot for a player who hasn't upgraded all his cast yet. So, because he was moving all the time trying to disturb the big server well I could hit some aces and because uh, his backhand was very weak that was very probably one of the easiest match just uh, you can play because well he can't fight whenever you hit on the backhand and then <laughs> you just have to root him to the spot by hitting on his backhand before hitting a decisive forehand. So this is a celebration with uh, Jonah wearing the superstar outfit. This celebration was quite short, three seconds only. So we are going to <laughs> see it again right after having opened this classic bag that we just got. Okay, let's watch it again just for fun. Here we go. Removing his glasses, lifting his shoulders, like saying, well, this victory was normal. I'm the superstar. <laughs> hey, well, let's play a second match versus a high serve, big forehand player, a Victoria, who is using nylon string. That's possible to use nylon string with that style, but well, in Tour 7, I think that the level of opposition may be a bit higher than in mid tours, so the matches should last a bit longer. And then, well, taking at least a Maestro Monty should be considered because, well, normally in Tour 7, it's not really the hitting pattern like uh, hitting an ace or hitting a big serve and then hit a big forehand winner behind. But well, if matches don't last long, like here, well, the use of nylon string could be seen as uh, normal. All right. Well, it was uh, lucky at first uh, to get some opponents uh, who don't have uh, very high stats and high trophies. But then I got some much harder Kaito and then I lost a bit of trophies before getting them back. A Diana volleyer was lucky there. It was not going in. Out. Yep, I tried cross court shot, but well, 
it went completely off the rail. One, two. Let's hit it. Okay. I was a bit surprised that this opponent was using this uh, dirty shot there. Oh, right. Once you have put the volley player in difficult position by returning the serve hard enough, well, you can hit the winner much more easily. And overall, it's easier to hit uh, with strong shots that pierce the defense of the volley player when it's uh, Diana. Then when it's low, a cross court shot uh, to finish. Volley players don't like that shot, but uh, it works mainly against the volley players who don't hit very hard serves. All right, to free some slot less up, and this grand bag is to eight grand bag. Wow, some lunches cards. They are very rare. Even from two or eight uh, grand bags. Okay, you got some shuriken too. That's cool. Let's play versus the volleyer. A bit peculiar because uh, I have always seen this player use uh, the high serve big forehand style. And now that I see him use the volley, yeah, well, he's keeping his uh, habit of hitting those dirty shots. Anyway, this time, of course, I'm not going to volley that back. So, having trained with the high serve big forehand style, it's supposed to give him a big serve while playing with that style. He's doing well with the volley. So good automatic reflexes, except that dirty shot. Okay. Well, that's really easy. Three points for the opponent when you hit that way. He should alternate at least a bit, you know. One time in the court, and one time outside. And once he saw that he was led, he started to hit into the court again on the returns. But it was a bit too late. Yep, even on the match point, he was trying to trick the opponent. Well, maybe that he's going to see that this is not working all the time. Let's open this classic bag. Okay, nothing interesting, of course. Here we go, last match. This is a high serve, big forehand. Victoria, having very few stamina. And she is playing with the master of the And because she has a weaker backhand, she was waiting for me on her backhand side. And that's why I returned on her forehand side to wrong foot her. Now this time, just hit on her backhand. So now and then, of course, I alternate. I don't hit all the time on her forehand side or all the time on her backhand side. It would be too easy to read as a hitting pattern. And that's out. Well, that match was quick, 43 seconds. Let's open this classic bag and then let me show you the lineup that I was using with the superstar Jonah. 
Well, I hope you enjoy watching me play some matches with Jonah wearing the new superstar outfit and using the high serve big forehand style in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.